Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the Tarot Lessons 101. For those of you guys that have been following us, thank you for joining again. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to our channel. Um, I know that we've been talking about, you know, I've been telling you guys that I will be uploading every Sunday. It's becoming a bit of a challenge. So at this point, I'm going to try the best I can to uh, upload a video for you guys probably once or twice during the week if I'm unable to upload it on Sunday for you guys. So we're going to stick with Sundays, but in case something comes up and I am unable to upload that video, expect it during the week. Um, I feel like that's what I need to do to counterbalance the ones that I just haven't been able to upload so that we can put uh, as many uh, of the cards uh, so that we can get through this uh, tarot lessons as quickly as possible. Anyways, for those of you guys that have been reaching out or are interested in spell work, you can purchase all of that on our online store now. I also do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that um, have been emailing or messaging me on Instagram, uh, when are we restocking your favorite soaps? They are back. They are restocked. We are ready to roll. So you'll be able to find all of that on our online store. Like you can see some of the um, soaps here, as well as the love oils, um, binding oils, uh, protection oils. You'll be able to find all of that on my online store. And also letting you guys know, because there's only one of me and there's thousands of you, I know that everyone, uh, everyone's case and situation is uh, an emergency. I get it. Um, like I said, unfortunately, there's only one of me. So I decided to do a line of candles that is specifically for specific things that you're wanting as an outcome. They come prepared. They are ritualized. They have all the oils and the ingredients. All you really need to do is follow the instructions on depending on the candle that you're purchasing, you'll be able to uh, see those instructions there, but they're pretty much set to go, whether it's to the come to me candle, like you guys can see here, um, you'll be able to purchase all of this on our online store now. So again, if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. We have tons of new products as well as bracelets, protection bracelets, bracelets for money, for abundance, um, as well as uh, candles for spell work. Uh, if you guys follow my uh, spell works that I upload on my YouTube channel, you'll be able to find all the ingredients that I use on my online store, as well as the figurine candles. Um, so you'll be able to check all of that out. Okay, enough of the long ass intro. Let's get into the reading. So here we are, as you guys can see, we already have the chariot card on display for you guys. And we are ready to dive deep into the card number seven of the Major Arcana, the child of the powers of the waters, the Lord of the triumph of light, Zodiac Trump of Cancer, Luna rules Jupiter exalted, tree of life path number 18. The chariot is drawn by Sphinx, representing the elemental blending of the cure Rubik beast. The charioteer is in full armor, which like the crab of the zodiac sign of cancer, um, this card representing uh, that which bears the holy grail. The chariot represents the I am driving. So whenever this card shows up, think of it as, you know, something that you can keep in back of your mind and consider it um, the I am driving, quote unquote. Uh, when starting this card or when seeing this card come up, uh, can you can clearly see that its steads have no reins. He's driving the chariot through willpower, and that's it. This card is about being in control. It's about the you got this. You are confident, resourceful, and savvy. He's got no reins in his hands. The imagery is pretty important here because it implies that the driver needs nothing else to get to his goals. Doesn't matter if he's got a fancy canopy or a couple of Sphinx ready for any request he has, you can just go. No obstacle is too big and no opponent is too strong. There is a lot of passion in this card, you guys. Um, that's the key of the chariot. It's got to matter and it's got to be difficult. If he doesn't have a work, um, 
for for it what's the point right if there's no no hard work behind what you're trying to achieve when you achieve it there is almost like a feeling of not complete fulfillment so the chariot is a card that will definitely demolish and overcome any obstacle if you are passionate about it if you are uh you're going towards a goal towards an aspiration something that you're really intense and passionate about you will overcome and surpass even at some points your expectations or the expectations of what others may have towards you um this guy owns his own company because he doesn't like having a boss he stays um he says things and expects people to listen he doesn't wait to see if they take his advice. He knows that they will or they will fail. And he'll continue on without looking back. If you look up the, the viewer above, above him, it's a reminiscent of the four of wands. The four of wands is about celebrating new beginnings. When applied to the chariot, this tells us that the driver of the chariot is ready to go. There is an era of anticipation and positive energy associated with him in a reading. This card comes up when someone is recognizing their strength or when they're about to start a new crusade, the magnetism that he has is palpable. People want to follow him because he inspires passion in them too. He, he ignites that, that desire of wanting to be the best that you can be. This is another time um, that it will also show up in a reading if you've begun to follow uh, someone with a lot of charisma, the chariot will come up. The thing, there's there's always a thing, right? <laughs> They're inside of you. You have to reach down inside of you and pull yourself up by your own will. Um, this is a badass type of energy here. With this you know, it, it's the knowing, the knowing, the badass, the badass you that you have within yourself to accomplish anything. If you really put your mind to it, um, there is a destination and we are getting there, whether it's a journey, an actual physical or metaphor or more metaphorical, uh, which will determine the outcome. Harness your energy and apply it wisely to ensure that the things will turn out the way you intend. The chariot speaks and indicates that eventual triumphs will overcome obstacles and adversities by seeing what needs to be done and making those changes to be carried out. Some key words of the chariot card is empowerment, its drive, its ambition, its willpower, its focus, strength, progress, self-discipline, and of course, travel. It speaks about balance and being cowardly or courageous, weak or strong, and that you can tame love and hate together in your heart, allowing yourself to understand and feel these emotions. It's about never accepting defeat, no matter how trying the circumstances are. Without conflict, we will never be dissatisfied with our present way of living, and thus invites us to make moves to find new solutions. If we were free of this conflict, we might never risk the challenge to move onwards to higher level. The two spheres symbolize the will of mankind as they are not attached to the chariot or charioteer. They're, con um, they're contrasting white and black, much like the pillars of the high priestess. Speaking of duality and balance, representing the opposing forces that live within human nature which have to be mastered. Where progress can be made, crown and canopy of the stars, the beauty and order of the universe, also a symbol of liberty and independence as well as one's personal truth. The armor stands for being protected, ready and prepared for the next development, while also speaking to the outer um, facade or protective shield that we present to the world. The wings also, the sun ancient sign of the great sun god um and it is viewed in a traditional way representation of the male and female sex organs in this context it is uh the reference of the balancing out of opposites the key to the chariot card is taking control of the situation while remembering the importance of compromise 
Once the call to the problem is identified, all aspects of life will begin to rest and improve the chariot. The chariot asks you to remove all obstacles before proceeding on your current path. Harness your energy and apply it wisely to ensure that what you intend will happen. See, it's about will here. The chariot represents conquest, victory, of coming opposition through your will and confidence. Any success will be a result of these applied factors to the situation. You will need to use the strength and willpower to overcome anything in your way. Be determined, be disciplined, and focus. You will triumph over any difficulty. So like all of our videos where I've asked you guys to connect a specific card to a movie, a character, or a person that you may know in your everyday life, who does a chariot card represent to you? Let me know in the comments below, you guys. Um, it, it, it helps to connect the energies, to connect and understand and better learn the cards like I've been telling you guys from previous videos. The perfect example would be for me, Brad Pitt in the movie Troy. He is the warrior Achilles, not being emotional or being distracted by outside interference, but focus at the task at hand to win, to conquer. Who does this card remind you of? As always, I hope I was able to guide you in understanding a little bit more of the chariot card. Sending you guys all my love and light. Until next time, bye.